Every Brilliant Thing is a play about a young boy who tries to find his way to supporting his mother through some depression and uh, suicide attempts. He creates a list of things that he thinks are wonderful and brilliant about the world and he hopes that this will uh, somehow help his mom see her way to happier days. We are performing in the round at the theater. We had to redesign the theater and create that kind of theater experience where the audience is surrounding the actor and we'll have audience on the stage. Traditionally where the scenery is, that's where our audience is sitting. So everyone participates in this show. The majority of the audience will get a number, they shout out about these great things in life. A few of them will be uh, members of the, of the character's past. It's very much about the community of the theater space. You can go in knowing that the audience interaction is something that Dee Dee is going to be talking you through. There's nothing that is going to make you feel like you're on spot in front of everyone with no guidance. And I think there's, that's done with a lot of joy and empathy. And, and I think it's something you can go to the theater and look forward to as something that's fun and not scary. I've done a one person show before and I've used audiences before. What makes this different is it is a subject that is hidden. I don't know your contact with it. I know that you do have contact with it because we all do have contact with it, but is yours direct with yourself? Is it your immediate family? Is it Uncle Charlie who would always have dark moods? There's a respectfulness that is in the room at all times. It's a necessity for a community to make sure that we are allowing room for people to not talk about it if they don't want to, but at least to be, and for us to know that there are more things going on than just the badge that we wear on our shirt. I knew that Didi was the right actor for this show. I think he has a generosity of spirit, a humor, and uh, he has the ability to draw you in through honest interactions, but also in very playful interactions. I think both of those things are needed desperately to really bring the show to life uh, the way that it's intended. A reason to come see this play is because it is so uniquely its own theatrical event. If you love theater, I think you're gonna love this show because of its trusting in a, a unique form that asks you to, to use your imagination, to use your heart, to use your mind, and it engages you on all these different levels. It's not like the other plays that we do where we sit in a seat and the lights go down and we get to lose ourselves. In this play, the lights stay up and I get to see you like you get to see me and you see the person next to you and the person across from you and it's so much more communal than the anonymity of hiding in the dark. Here, we're getting together just over an hour. We're gonna laugh, we're gonna cry, we're gonna go, yes, we're gonna go, oh, I didn't know that, but we'll do it together. We don't get a chance to do that very often in anything.